Many people have uh, often said that the World War II generation was the greatest generation. It was a great generation, but America has been blessed by having greatness in every single generation, and that includes the Vietnam generation. This is the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in memory plaque. This is to all the people who served during Vietnam and have since died from something that happened to them while they were in, in the military during that war. It should be more artistically integrated with the wall so that when you're reading this you see the, the other 58,000 names behind it. Among the American veteran groups, VVA was the first one which returned to Vietnam, did excellent humanitarian work. VVA's Veteran Initiative Program has become a successful story of VVA operations in Vietnam. I didn't go to Vietnam to protect the rights of people I don't care about, to come back and find that the people I do care about don't have any rights. Vietnam is not the first war we came back from. Those who have defended this nation, those who have stood by this nation, those who have risked their lives for this nation, those family members who lost their loved ones defending this nation, we as America have to first stand by our veterans or we can't stand by anybody. This is going to be one of the biggest legacies we leave behind. Because there's very little outreach to the men and women who served in the military, and because too many veterans succumb to diseases that can be traced back to their time in service, Vietnam Veterans of America has launched the Veterans Health Council in partnership with dozens of interested professional health care and health advocacy organizations. The Veterans Health Council is an outreach program to let veterans and the doctors in the community know about health care benefits that are important to veterans. The military sprayed Agent Orange around Air Force bases. Fortunately, at this point in time, I don't have health problems. I do believe that it is happening to other people. That was really the root of the class action lawsuits that were brought against the chemical companies in the early 80s. Those lawsuits were making great headway until a judge forced a settlement. It also shut off the dialogue and the disclosure of all this information. If a veteran gets hurt in service, they're entitled to be compensated, no more and no less. And our job is to make sure they get the right amount, make sure they don't get shortchanged by the system. We're going to talk about diagnostic codes to different mental health and physical disabilities and how they're rated within the VA. The VA will accept any examination as adequate on its face. Nine times out of ten, they'll say, this is enough for us. We're not going to do anything else beyond that. So it's incumbent on the vet and the rep to point out the mistakes that are in the examination report.
your service is not just to the country. It's to everybody in the world that needs the experience that you have, needs the heart that you still maintain, needs the courage and conviction of people who have been through crap and who have come out the other side with something still to give. I keep coming back because it's a way I can stay connected uh, with my brothers and uh, sisters that I served with in Vietnam.